and I'm picking points from my CAD drawing and then I click enter and then I click OK and then I click OK. Apply and then OK. So what it lets me do is I can go here and then custom model views and general workspace. The drawing uh, takes me to the view I have created. So while placing a view, certain views on drawing, I can just populate this view to one of my drawings or I can create, let's say like another uh, view manager, model views, new, and then I can call it as general manager room. And then pick window. And then click enter then click ok apply okay so if i go to my view manager custom model views if i select general manager room it populates me close to the uh, general manager room and i can add this particular view with the detail elements added in this uh, room to my set and layout so uh, AutoCAD lets you uh, populate certain uh, views, custom views, and you can access uh, either the view cube or the, let's say you have these uh, references uh, marked by the navigation bar, and you can control them either from the uh, top left corners uh, that is marked, you can uh, select it to be 2D wireframe or you can make it hidden or conceptual or you can say that you want it to be in the form of wireframe or you can control your visual styles manager by like if you call out different view properties it will uh, assign uh, the design properties for the certain workspace and one another view to control your model spaces using dynamic input so if you use navigation bar and then you can either now right now it's turned uh, on for this uh, location if you turn it off this particular icon goes away from the view and if you don't want this particular be uh, navigate like blocking your view and you're way more comfortable in using the view cube and the custom view tabs located on the top left you can uh, use them and then turn off the uh, navigation bar displayed on the right or you can turn on because it's preferred to have more than one icon that offers you the same functionality. So now uh, let's take uh, a minute. Yes. Yeah. Uh, hey, I'm so sorry to interrupt. So there is this question from Pankaj. Uh, okay. How to construct this 3D model is what his question is. Okay, how to construct this 3D model? Yeah, we will be learning how to construct the 3D model, uh, like slightly like in a later part of today's session. So uh, for example, if you open this 3D model, so I have created this 3D model uh, based on a certain geometry. So I can uh, demonstrate to you in a new 3D drawing. So let's go to new. I can uh, choose a uh, ACAT 3D. And then what I do is line. I draw my views. in ortho mode while using 3D. In populating certain wall elements and then uh, I use rectangle or I define uh, them by groups. I assign them to properties and then we uh, manage the layer properties to create a rectangle wall and then uh, to reuse the same content to model our wall elements 
and then when we see from the top it appears as a plan view or in the isometric view it is modeled as a wall element so this is how uh, we begin with 3d modeling and there are uh, multiple ways to create uh, the 3d model elements you can extrude them or uh, modify the dynamic content by parametric views so it is uh, like uh, in depth like uh, topic to cover in itself to uh, do the 3d modeling so now uh, let's uh, like the concept is same you can use the same uh, modeling icons like rectangle and for example you can let's say like create rectangle in this view and then you can choose your uh, this you can see that this has become like similar to a floor plan in this view so though the conceptual layout is different uh, the concept is same so you have model here and now right now i'll be working on modeling the wall elements on the four sides of the autocad uh, workspace to add those elements so uh, this is how we uh, like to begin with 3d modeling in autocad and uh, right now i'm sticking with 2d because it is more convenient for me to uh, add all those uh, like technical attributes that we are defining and then convert this into a 3d drawing or uh, like i prefer autocad more for 2d drafting because there are multiple uh, software or computation tool offered to you by autodesk itself that lets you import your autocad drawing to convert it into a 3d model and then we will discuss how to do the same uh, while we are uh, working on uh, certain uh, conversion in the later part of today's session. Um, thank you so much, Girish. You can resume the session. Yeah. So let's uh, take some time to answer uh, a quiz. So this is one of the final quiz I have prepared uh, based on today's technical concepts because uh, after this, we are going to discuss more uh, generic feature of AutoCAD. So we can, uh, you can take five minutes to answer this quiz. Okay, so now let's quickly discuss the responses for this quiz. So yeah, view cube can be used to set isometric views. Yeah, that is correct because we can use view cube to manage the isometric views. And then uh, we can, uh, the drawings view scale can be adjusted in the paper space. That is as well true because we can uh, create to uh, modify or the paper space, the view scale, and views can be managed in Windows. Uh, let's say like we can uh, like it is located in the top left of your cat screen. So certain custom views that you want to create, you can manage your views from the top left corner of your uh, cat screen. And then AutoCAD 3D is better to produce clear drawings than 2D. Uh, I would say that it is true because for example, uh, let's say, um, for example, I can demonstrate this to you with an example. So this is the same drawing and this is similar to the drawing that we create. The 2D drawing is the same 3D. So for example, in this drawing, if you want to produce an elevation view, Let's say I want to look at how this looks from the front. I can't, I have to draw how it looks from the front again. But if I use uh, AutoCAD 3D modeling feature, I can uh, learn like it has automatically, it looks this way. I can control the way it looks from the 3D modeling. So in some certain terms, it is convenient for me to produce clear drawings if I use AutoCAD 3D to add those modeling elements. Yeah, model space is realistic in annotation terms. Yeah, it is true as well, because we uh, model it to the view scale that we set and hence it is realistic in the annotation terms. So thank you for taking uh, time to answer all the questions yesterday and today. Uh, like it really helped me as well to understand that if you like what, uh, like you have understood from the subtopic and probably like uh, to you as well, like if you uh, like answer these questions to understand the core concepts from the discussions that we had today. So now uh, we finished this and let's uh, switch to uh, different uh, 
other multiple topics from today's class. So we discussed the view settings. So the topics that we have remaining in uh, our CAD discussion are groups, uh, blocks, and then some external references, and then to compare drawings, and uh, to discuss the shared views and the cloud-based feature of AutoCAD, that is A360. So now what we are going to do is uh, discuss the AutoCAD feature that lets us uh, reuse or recreate certain contents uh, and minimize our modeling effort by using groups and blocks. So now let's switch to AutoCAD window. Okay, so for example, we are going to uh, produce, uh, let's say, construction drawings as a outcome of using AutoCAD modeling. And I'm interested in modeling uh, columns, square columns and rectangle columns for my modeling purpose. And then I would like to hatch it. Let's define a proper layer, the default layer, and then let's model our first rectangle to model it as a column. And then I can hatch it using the, since I say it's a concrete column. Yeah, I'm defining this uh, property. And let's say that we are going to use this column in a multiple location. So if you uh, are in your home tab, you can, uh, we discuss the, draw tab modify tab annotation yesterday and in today's class we discussed the layer properties and then we are going to insert a block to a drawing or create a block definition from the selected objects so insert block it's that it lets you insert a block or drawing into the current drawing so you can uh, like for example use the architectural title block And then you can see that this particular title block has uh, general notes and then a revision date. You can use this in your uh, layout window to create certain geometry. So if, for example, if we are using this insert a block hexagon, which is already predefined by me, you can see that, yeah, I can recreate this hexagon here. So uh, this lets, for example, if I want to use this column, and then let me say, create block, and I call it as concrete column, and then base point, pick point, and then convert to block and then you can uh, you can you can make it annotative or uh, you can just take it off because if you are modeling on a real time basis and you can let it scale uniformly and allow exploding so allow exploding is uh, that feature it specifies whether or not you can uh, remove this particular block element so you have defined a block element and then once you have inserted your block in the model you want to make certain changes to it but you don't want to make changes to the parent family so you can explode a block make changes and redefine a new block so if you click ok and then if you uh, go to insert block, we have concrete column defined. So now I can define concrete block wherever I see fit. I can insert column in the rows. When I model my 3D window, I can place columns where I see fit without having to uh, recreate the uh, same content again and again. So you can uh, use this icon 
to edit attributes in a block reference. You can select this block and click enter. And then you can scale it uniformly or move it to combine it with other blocks. And then when you click edit, And then uh, if you go back to save, this has saved the attributes defined in a particular block. And then you can use, uh, like for example, you can use the AutoCAD features to either insert a block in your drawing, such as the architectural tick, or you can use the uh, AutoCAD feature to insert a block, such as the, you can use them to define the block editors. And then when you select this particular block, and then you pop out this icon, you have to define the attributes of a block, or uh, you can choose to synchronize the attributes. Uh, for example, if you have defined the block in a different file and use it in a, uh, let's say that, like for example, if I save it here, and then if I want to use my block in other file, if I open, let's say the dimension style, and then if I say insert, there is no block here. And if I can browse for blocks, there is no block saved here. So you can understand that blocks are uh, file-based, like they are used common to the local file and they can be inserted if they are predefined within the file options. So you can use uh, these particular uh, icons to, uh, for example, if I use blocks and then click more options, I select concrete column and then if I click explore and click OK. So you can see that this, if I go back to insert, it appears as concrete column, but this particular block attributes have been deleted together as a modeling element. So you can explore and then you can edit, control the properties of the blocks in the block tab. So why are blocks important in AutoCAD? So what uh, blocks are nothing but you group certain objects. So for example, I can use, uh, let me draw a floor plan. Let's call out, this is my floor plan and this is my foundation layout. You can see that I'm drawing some corner foundations to the floor plan. Though the drawing is not annotative to the scale, uh, we can use scale factor later to uh, enlarge or reduce our drawings. This is just to demonstrate you the purpose of blocks in AutoCAD. And then I'm defining the properties of my foundation. So if I wish, I can new block and then I can call it as and I can call it as the midpoint because I can edit it and then open in block editor and then scale uniformly, I love exploding. And then if I click, okay, 
this has been defined as a block and then i can uh, make changes to it adds a rotation parameter to the block definition or i can flip it i can control the visibility parameter to block definition to say that this block is visible or not in my model view or to look up to like if i want a uh, like uh, add to a lookup parameter. This is very similar to the lookup parameter in the Excel file. To, uh, to your block definition, you can do that. Or you can add a base point uh, parameter to your block definition. Or you can control the XY parameter to your block definition. So uh, these are certain features offered to you while you insert your block. And these definitions are important in making your drawings as parametric as possible when we are producing CAD drawings. So this is a feature of uh, using blocks. So uh, one another feature in CAD modeling, uh, let's say like in difference to blocks, is that we have groups. So if you, what's the difference between blocks and groups? So if you hover over blo blocks, it appears that blocks are nothing but it lets you uh, group certain properties and then add it to your local file. So is there a way that you can make your blocks appear in uh, like multiple files? The, that is a command that has, that's named as w block or write block. You can write a block you can call it floor plan and you can uh, source floor plan and then you can save it as in my in the local drive and then if i go to a different drawing and then i see insert block and then browse the folder you can see that there is a floor plan dot dwq has been already been created for me so you can see that uh, this particular drawing now has the block has been recreated for me. So you can use blocks and then you can write blocks to your local drive, which can be used across multiple files. So this is uh, the concept that is defined with blocks. And what are groups? Groups are nothing but uh, to group certain elements that share common properties or you want to group uh, objects that uh, you want to place as a particular group. So you can select Yeah, we have selected the objects. Unnamed group has been created. So we don't want to create an unnamed group. So what happens is explodes or so the you can use the group explode to create explode the group that you have created so let's create a group you can select the objects and then you can name it as geometry. Then enter. You can see that the groups definition by themselves don't appear on the group manager when you name an unnamed group. So what happens is you can create group from here and then say group name has been named as geometry. And then description, you can call it as geometry objects for this case. And then you can create it as new group. And then while selecting objects, 
you can select these objects and then when you click enter yeah this geometry group name has been selected so if you want to insert sorry this is the block so if you want to uh, select groups or let's say explode a group or group edit group edit lets you like for example select group it selects this group and then object is member of more than one group and then you click accept and then you can click add objects and then you can add this object and then click enter so this has automatically been edited to your group so when you select group and then group edit you can see that the concrete has been added to your geometry objects group so this lets you expand uh, the attributes or uh, selecting parameters to your object screen and it lets you uh, minimize the efforts the blocks and groups defined in the CAD workspace lets you minimize the workspace as well as to uh, avoid recreating content from time and again and uh, it lets you to control let's say like uh, to control the uh, view settings or the availability of certain attributes in your workspace so how do you delete a group so for example you can say uh, group edit the adds or edits and then you can click explode group and then group exploded so if you click escape and then if you select this is a sep separate block and then this is a separate element it, it it no longer belongs to the same group so group explode deletes the group property and then group edit lets you add or remove objects to a group and then you can uh, like you can turn certain group selection on and off based on the bag manager so if you have group manager if you have geometry and then you can go for change group remove add rename or reorder or you can change description explode selectable property all these parameters you can play around using the groups and then this lets you create and modify content across different uh, files in autocad so one another uh, important feature while discussing the groups and uh, view settings in AutoCAD is that to look for the parametric attribute. So parametric attribute is that, uh, for example, uh, it lets you, like whenever you want to scale your uh, view settings uh, like to the model, it is uh, a good practice to auto constrain your multiple geometry to the selected objects and this lets you do that and then you have you can add linear constraints or aligned constraints or the radius constraints to your model that will let you change the parameter and the whole model describes the uh, same uh, parameters so for example uh, if you uh, can you hear me yeah yeah Nageshwari, can, Girish, you can you hear me? Yeah, i can, I can hear, hear you hear. So there's this question from Vaskar. It's like, okay. what is the major difference between block and group? Okay, what's the major difference between block and group? Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, let me uh, uh, clarify the difference. So block is nothing but, you can insert a block from the library. So like right how we saved the floor plan .dwg to uh, the local file disk and then we have inserted across multiple drawings. So block is nothing but you have added the tab to insert the block from a local drawing or to the current drawing. It is nothing but you uh, group certain parameters and then define them as a common uh, group and then you write it to your local disk which can be inserted as a block to your uh, multiple files so for example if you click insert block you have uh, here like if you go to the basic geometry you have like the architectural title block 
you have the hexagon you have the arch tick or the uh, concrete column but if the same thing if you go to the dimension style you don't uh, like you don't have these blocks you just have the architectural tick you have not loaded the tile block or the uh, hexagon or the floor plan so a block or nothing but you define a group and write it to your local disk that can be loaded to your file to avoid you minim to avoid you like uh, remodeling or recreating the plan again and again but groups are nothing but they create a group of objects within the same work file so if you uh, like for example you can define group uh, of object within the same file for example if you select uh, like go to group group manager and then click new like let's say like the new group is all and then description is all objects and then uh, create group new it asks you to select objects and i can select all the objects in my new screen and then if i click enter yeah so geometry group has the objects in the geometry at uh, like the geometry screen that you see around the enclosed around the circle but if you select all this is part of all the objects in the screen so uh, you can uh, like create group of blocks or more than one blocks to be grouped to control your view setting or to uh, appear in a layout tab uh, a particular group just the view settings visible settings or the modeling efforts using the group tab so group is nothing but you group by the properties and block is nothing but you write to load and synchronize in your model space um uh, thank you so one more question from uh, basker again it's like can we club every attribute and put as block yeah you can uh, club every attribute uh, that is like for example uh, like for example while defining a block let's say create block definition and then you you call it as all and then pick point on the screen you can call it as insertion base point and then select objects and then if you click enter and then click okay and then if you go to insert block 